organised by the International Society of Nephrology and hosted by the Canadian Society of Nephrology and La Société Québécoise de Nephrologie, this year's World Congress of Nephrology is a gathering of thousands of participants and leading experts in kidney healthcare to exchange the latest science and discuss the newest clinical applications designed to improve kidney health and prevent kidney disease worldwide. Welcome to the ISN's WCN Daily Show. Welcome to the second episode of the WCN Daily. We have another great episode for you today featuring commentary from some of ISN's young leaders in kidney health. And ISN Scientific Chair Claire Sharp also joins us now again to point out a few of Sunday's fascinating sessions. I'm really looking forward to on Sunday, um, the plenary session from Professor Sir Peter Ratcliffe. He's going to tell us about his life's work in understanding cellular oxygen sensing mechanisms for which he won the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2019. I'm particularly honoured to be chairing this session as it will be a great opportunity for both me and our delegates to ask Professor Ratcliffe questions about his incredible lifetime achievements. There's also going to be an excellent session on acute kidney injury in pregnancy. And this is one of the sessions that was originally planned to be in the World Congress of Nephrology 2020 program that was unfortunately cancelled. So I'm pleased that we've been able to include it in the 2021 program, as I think it will have broad appeal to delegates from across the world. And finally, sticking with the acute kidney injury theme, the session being held jointly with the Korean Society of Nephrology will focus on sepsis related acute kidney injury and I'm keen to hear about new insights into the pathophysiology of this disease and experimental treatments that may become available in the clinic in the future. More great insights into the brilliant sessions during the WCN Virtual Congress. Claire, thank you. Now the WCN Daily is excited to feature some of ISN's young leaders from all over the world for their thoughts on what it means to be a professional in kidney health today. I believe the greatest challenge in kidney health is awareness, awareness of the health worker to prevent kidney disease, detect and also manage kidney disease, patients of kidney disease. Awareness of the patient and how to live well with kidney disease. Can they anticipate what's, what's coming next? Can they anticipate complications? And of course, awareness of the policy maker. I think that the biggest challenge we have in kidney health at this point is that there is not, not enough effort put into prevention. A lot of people around the world, they know their heights and they know their weight. So why they, don't they know their blood pressure? Kidney transplantation represents the most cost-efficient treatment of end-stage kidney disease. Despite this advantage, kidney transplantation is not available in DRC as a treatment option. Since four years ago, we drafted a law on the transplantation of organ, tissue and cells, and recently we submitted to Parliament. With the expertise in the country, we are currently on the way to establish a kidney transplant program and aim to perform the first living donor procedure within the next three years. My top tip for uh, young nephrologists in helping achieve success in your career is to find mentors early on. Um, one of my most impactful mentors was a woman I met in Vancouver when I was a medical student and she actually inspired me to go into nephrology. Uh, during my fellowship training in London, Ontario, my mentors were very supportive of my academic interest in medical education and have actually supported me starting my Master's of Health Professionals Education during my fellowship training. And that was a very fruitful and positive experience. So uh, I want to tell that uh, in my professional career, uh, most of the help was uh, assistant from my mentors, uh, from my colleagues, and especially uh, I want to thank the International Society of Nephrology and other societies uh, where I am a member. Of course, uh, all the fellowship programs which was provided by the European Renal Society and uh, especially by the International Society of Nephrology, all of them are helping me to gain significant uh, experience in nephrology, in science and in education. I 
I dream of seeing a day in India where all kidney patients consult qualified nephrologists to understand their disease and the treatment modalities that exist so that people can make informed scientific choices. I also want to work towards destigmatizing kidney disease by employers here. Secondly, with my work and participation in more global nephrology forums such as the ISN, I wish to increase the relevance and applicability of international kidney guidelines, new treatments, research more towards the developing world. And my dream is it to establish a true and global partnership between kidney health professionals and patients to address research outcomes that matter the most to our patients with kidney disease. It's my dream for patients to be part of this research journey and help us implement research outcomes in clinical practice to improve patient-centered care and outcomes. So really patients as our partners to reduce the research waste and increase the relevance and impact of our research to improve kidney health in a holistic and patient-centered way. One of the things that are very important to me is the subject of chronic kidney disease upon non etiology, particularly in Latin America. This was mainly the reason why I became an anthropologist. It is still my dream to find answers, better treatments, early detection for the people that have been affected for this disease. I want to express to all my colleagues today in this World Congress of Nephrology to keep pursuing your dreams, especially if these dreams are aimed to improve the health of millions of people around the world. Thank you very much. Well, that's it for our second episode of the WCN Daily Show. But there's plenty more to come in the last two days of the World Congress of Nephrology. And don't forget, you can go back to any of the sessions you might have missed on the WCN virtual platform. Tomorrow, Claire Sharp joins us for one last time to tell you about her featured sessions on the final day of WCN 2021. We'll also talk with Congress awardees Bill Kauser, Karl Nath, Kathleen Shustak and Tusha Vatarajani about receiving the Congress awards and their careers as nephrologists. Until then, enjoy the rest of the great content on the WCN virtual platform. <laughs>